Hey people of the interweb, I'm Nostalgic Dave, and welcome back to Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. So, let's go ahead and start this little rundown. Well, I guess this is it. Yeah. One way or another, this case gets decided today. Ah, uh, the Phoenix, look! Edgeworth, hi! Hey, Prosecutor Edgeworth. I received a call from the Chief Prosecutor's office yesterday. I was told that whatever Mr. White said today, it will be the absolute truth. No matter how you try to attack his testimony, if I raise an objection, I have it on good faith that the judge will listen to me. What does White have the judge in his pocket to? So you're saying I'm going to be guilty. End of story. I will do anything to get my verdict, Mr. Wright. Anything. I'm gonna keep quiet on what's on my mind right now just because... Because I finished the entirety of Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney, there are certain things on my mind, but I'm going to keep quiet for now. Why? Why? How can you torment an innocent person like this? Innocent? How can we know that? The guilty will always lie to avoid being found out. Yeah, we know this. There's no way to tell who is guilty and who is innocent. All that I can hope to do is get every defendant declared guilty. So I make that my policy. Edgeworth, you've changed. Hmm? Phoenix, you know him? Don't expect any special treatment, Phoenix Wright. That wasn't exactly the plan. The Phoenix? Well, court will be starting soon. What? But wait! The defense attorney isn't even here yet. They're not... I'll be defending myself. What? <laughs> okay, let's do this. I think you put your uh, little partner there in shock. <laughs> Court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Phoenix Wright. Prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Mr. Wright, are you sure you're up to doing this? Yes, Your Honor. I will be defending myself. Understood. Very well, Mr. Edgeworth. Your opening statement, please. <sighs> As the details of the event are already quite clear to the court, today we will hear the testimony of a witness to the defendant's crime. I see. The prosecution may call its witness. That went far too smoothly. Why didn't the judge ask Edgeworth why his witness didn't testify before? It's like... It's like he already knows why. Hmm. If anyone's going to raise an objection about this, I suppose it's me. Mr. Edgeworth, you owe an explanation to the court. Why didn't this witness testify in the trial against Miss Maya Fay? <laughs> I'm ever so sorry. Mr. White is a busy man, and besides, at the time, I thought that Miss May's op opinion, <laughs> close enough, was all that would be needed. Again, my sincerest apologies to the court. Excellent, Mr. Edgeworth. I appreciate your demeanor. Great. He gets to show off, and I get nowhere. I would like to call Mr. Red White to the stand. Hi. Please state your full name. You wish to know the title of my personage? Uh, your name? Yes, that is what I said. Oh dear, do my locutions confuse? Name! These two are great together. <laughs> my name is Red White. 
but my friends call me Blanco Nino. Why? I am the CEO, or to use a more common term, the president of Blue Corp. Did you know the victim missed me a fay? That would be a negatory. No, I did not. You were at the Gatewater Hotel the night of the murder? Correct. And you witnessed the murder from there? <clears throat> Why tell you what you already know? Very well, Mr. White. You may begin your testimony. If I can rip this guy's testimony apart, I'm done for. Or if I can't. If I can, I'm done for. If I can't, I should be in good hands. No. Why do I always feel like it's the end of the world and I'm the last man standing? Ho ho ho! I hope you have made your peace with God, Mr. Lawyer. What? Let him have it, Phoenix. Let's see. It was about 9 o'clock, I believe. I was quietly perusifying, uh, that's reading, to you, some papers by the window. Then I heard a bedlam coming from outside. Surprised, I turned to look at the building across the way. It was then I saw him, a spiky-haired man attacking a woman with long hair. Needless to say, the man was none other than you, Mr. Lawyer. I called Miss May over at once. She, too, was flabbergasted, of course. The victim, she... she ran away. But you gave chase. Finally, there was a terrible impaction. Then it was all over. Okay. Hmm. If things occurred as you testify, then I'm afraid the defendant is guilty. Very well, defendant. Er, I mean, Mr. Wright. Your cross-examination. Yes, Your Honor. Is this even allowed, IRL? I don't think it is. <laughs> Wouldn't make much sense. Okay, so... It's about 9 o'clock. Time of death? It doesn't even say. Great! Died from a blow by a blunt object. They have lived for a few minutes, okay? I was quietly reading some papers by the window, and I heard a bedlam coming from outside. I might have to push these, actually. How do you know what time it was? Because I am always absolutely perfect, you know? No, 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 you're not getting away with that. You are so mistrusting, Mr. Lawyer. So, what was the proper term for a secretary again? Anyway, Miss May ordered room service for 9 o'clock. It happened soon after the room service arrived. Hmm, that's what Miss May said too. Press him. True, the bellboy who brought the coffee saw Miss May. But he testified that he did not see you at the time. Ahem. This is your concern? Silly lawyer, Miss May received the coffee outside the room. Of course he couldn't see me. He would need x-ray vision to pull off something like that. Hmm. Tell us, what were you doing at the time? Reading. By window, you mean the one directly across from Faye and Cole offices? Correct! That is the only window you see. And there you were, reading papers? Correct! The Gate Water is a businessman's hotel, and I am a busy man who had business to do. Thanks, Captain Obvious. A bedlam? It must have been when you attacked, I assume. We see. Continue. 
Surprise, I okay. So you were reading your papers until you heard that sound. But of course, I am no Snoop peeping out of windows at night. No Snoop? Yeah, right. You made a career out of snooping. Yeah. It was then I saw him swing. What you just said directly conflicts with Miss May's testimony. Miss May clearly stated that the assailant looked like a girl. I've always been proud of my eyesight, Mr. Lawyer. Just what is your eyesight? Counting both eyes? Forty! Forty? Don't add them together. I think the witness is trying to say his eyesight is good. Hey, whose side is the judge on, anyway? And what did you do then? I called Miss May over at one- Okay, she- I already read this. Yeah, and? What was Miss May doing at the time? Just finished watching a soap opera on the TV and was weeping openly. Did you- oh. She was watching a soap opera on the TV and seeing it openly. Did you know she had been tapping the Faye office line? Oh, for the- WHAT?! Irrelevant! That has nothing to do with the case at hand! I care not. I will answer the lawyer's bold inquiry. Miss May was acting alone when she tapped the phone of this Faye woman. You'd make a good politician, Mr. White. Ho ho! I know. After all, I am- El Presidente. Please continue. This is very, very vague. Can you be a little bit more detailed about that? I think it's worth knowing exactly what happened. Of course! Comprende! I understand. The victim was attacked by you and ran to the left. Uh, no. <laughs> you gave chase and struck her down. Are you sure? As you know, I am always absolutely perfect. Uh, you might want to rethink that statement. Perhaps you could change your testimony to reflect this new detail. I'm not even going to think about it. Objection! There we go. Oh, wait. Not serious enough. No, that's too serious. <laughs> ah, who cares? Eh. <laughs> Wait right there! Mr. White, you've dug your own grave. What is this? You said the victim ran to the left. But that directly contradicts Miss May's testimony. She clearly stated that the victim ran right. Oh, it is simple. You have misheard her. I think not. Look at the floor plans. The killer was here. The victim, here. The victim ran to the left as you claimed she did. She would have been running directly away from the door. She would have been running into a dead end. Don't you find that odd? I think we got you. <laughs> Very strange. I did see her run to the left. I did. Oh, I believe you. Phoenix, look at his face. I don't think he's lying about this one. True. Maybe you really did see the victim run left. So he did witness the killing. Wait a second. Mr. Wright? Yes, Your Honor? Miss May says right, and Mr. White says left. Can you explain this contradiction to the court? They're both right! Both witnesses are telling the truth. For once. Huh! <laughs> I doubt it! 
uh, rather that does not clear up the contradiction. There is one scenario that would explain their conflicting accounts. What? Obviously, the witness was not viewing the crime from the hotel. Mr. Wright, what do you mean? Mr. Wright, what do you mean? It's hard to keep up with all these voices. <laughs> yes, what do you mean he was not viewing the crime from the hotel? If he was not in the hotel, where could he have been? In the law offices of Fay and Co., of course. I've got you now! <laughs> More specifically, he was standing here. He was the killer. This is where he was. Look, when the victim ran for the door, if he was watching from this point, to him it would appear that she ran to the left. Please! This is no time for jokes and ill taste. That is where the killer was standing. Exactly. Order. I will have order. Anyone disturbing the order in this courtroom will be held in contempt. Mr. Wright, what are you suggesting? Perhaps Scallion? The postulations of the defense are a distortion of the truth, Your Honor. Indeed, they do seem a bit far-fetched. Ho ho ho! You provide us so much entertainment, Mr. Lawyer. What now? He's laughing? The hilarity of the moment made me remember something. It appears I have been unclear. For this, I apologize. Mr. Your Honor? Might I be allowed to testify once more? Very well. Let's hear your revis revised testimony. Good luck. You can't fix a broken testimony, buddy. She ran to the left. Miss May's testimony was correct, as was mine. When you assaulted the girl, she first ran to the left. And then you hit her savagely. That is what I saw. Next, with the last of her strength, she ran to the right. Um, I'm pretty sure the autopsy report said killed him and killed with one blow, died immediately. Almost immediately. There wouldn't have been enough time for her to run. He chased her and delivered the final blow. It was one blow. So you're already wrong. That is what Miss May saw. You see? You hit her twice. Don't you remember, Mr. Lawyer? No, I don't remember. For two reasons. One, you're wrong. And it's two, you're wrong. <laughs> you're wrong. <clears throat> Hold on. I'm probably going to end up using that. I'm going to try to use that posture for uh, thumbnail. So... There you go, me. <laughs> nope, not long enough. <laughs> Does that work? <laughs> hmm. That does seem to make sense. No. You bet I will. I mean, yes, Your Honor. <laughs> okay, where is it? Where's the line? Okay, whatever. Nice try, buddy. Mr. White. The victim died from a single blow. <laughs> what do you have to say to that? Uh, uh. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I couldn't help myself. I'm sorry. Now's my chance to hit him where it counts. Mr. White. Wasn't it you who told this court you were absolute, lutely perfect? 
I will refrain from using this phrase from now on. Your Honor, if you could ask the witness for a new testimony. The witness is obviously confused, Your Honor. I would like to request a 10 minute break. Yes, yes, quite. The witness is confused because he's lying. I am empath I am emphatically 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 there we go. I emphatically request that there be no break, Your Honor. Yeah, we want justice! Don't let him get away! Very well. If the witness would care to revise his testimony. The crowd's on my side. No slipping out of this one now, White. Mr. White. Uh, okay. Um, well, see, I looked at the other window when I heard that thing fall. What? What other window? You said you had one. Literally one. Then the next moment I saw Miss Mia run to the left. Killer you attacked her, but she dodged. Um, and then she turned and ran for the door. Then you did her in with a single blow. Flap! I, I don't even know how to respond to this. This is ridiculous. All the elms should give away. He's obviously not telling the truth. Very well, you may begin the cross-examination. Examin Mr. Your Honor, my stomach, you see, is hurting. Deal with it. This is almost over. You ready to be pounded to the ground, sir? The other window when I heard the thing fall. Okay. Next moment I saw Miss Mia run to the left. You attacked her, but she dodged. Um. That wouldn't have been the one. Okay, I'm gonna press these. Before anything else, I'm gonna press. You heard that thing fall. What exactly was that thing? Huh? Oh, oh, that? Um, the glass light stand. What? The thing's not loud enough. Glass isn't loud enough to hear in the next building. Maybe the next room, but not the next building. Even with the windows open, come on. <sighs> All right, I already know what to do for him. Right, the one that had fallen over at the scene. Phoenix, doesn't something about that strike you as odd? Yeah. I'll press further. Mr. White? Huh? What? You're saying you saw the glass light stand. Y yes. Then change your testimony to reflect that. S sorry, my bad. The witness will revise his testimony. Okay, okay. Of course. I'm not even going any further. Objection. Seriously, dude? Really? <laughs> Mr. White. It was impossible for you to have seen the light stand. What? The stand broke into pieces when it fell. Just by seeing the broken pieces, you would have no idea it was a light stand. But tell me exactly when was it that you saw the stand? Answer the question. Isn't it obvious? I saw the stand before it fell over. I don't even believe that. I'm not sure what the contradiction is in that. I believe there is one, but I'm not positive what it is. I, hold on. Wait a minute. 
Oh, I think I think I remember actually. The receipt. I think that's for the light stand itself. And if I remember, I'm not gonna say anything just in case. But I think I remember what happened. Correct. That would be no problemo, right? Hmm. Big problemo. There's a big problemo. Ugh. Are you getting me to say it? Problem. There's a big problem here. What problem is this? Mr. White, let me make sure I have this straight. You saw the glass light stand through the window from the hotel. Before the incident occurred? Correct. That is so. It's conclusive, definitive, undeniable, unimpeachable. No, it's impossible. You couldn't have seen the stand. What? Why couldn't he? You have proof? Yep. I sure do, Your Honor. The person in the hotel could not have seen the stand before it fell over. This is the proof. Something the matter? No, it's just... Oh, wait, I might be... What did I push? I don't think so, either. Mr. Wright, this courtroom is no place to play practical jokes. Sorry, Your Honor. Let me try that again. Wait. Oh. I think this is what... No, yeah, because... It's this. Look at this. These are the four plans to the scene of the murder, yes? Correct, Your Honor. Now look. You were looking through the window at the office. This is the area you would be able to see. Here. Well, note that the stand is not within the visible area. It's in the bottom left corner. How in the world would you be able to see that? Well, Mr. White, what do you have to say to that? Also, with what I clicked earlier, I think I just jumped the gun. I am going to need that later, but yeah, I think I just jumped the gun. Ridiculousity! Mr. White, if you were in the Gatewater Hotel, as you claim, you could not have seen the stand before it fell over. In fact, you wouldn't have been able to see it after it fell over either. There's no way you could have recognized the broken shards as a glass light stand. So, when did you see the stand, Mr. White? Okay, the, okay, the item I clicked, I'm supposed to use it after he claims what he's about to claim. It must have been the moment that it fell. The only place you could have seen that from is inside the Fayetteville offices. In other words, you were at the scene of the crime when the murder took place. Oh, God, that's creepy. Mr. White, you did it, didn't you? Mr. Your Honor, I, I, Miss Mia. <laughs> Looks like we're about to get our birdie. That's far enough, Phoenix Wright. What? <sighs> I forgot about Edgeworth. Mr. White. I think the time has come. Shouldn't you confess your crime now? Hmm? Wh what? I said you should confess your crime. Ergo, confess that you placed the wiretap. No, we already confirmed you did that. The wiretap? Edgeworth, we already confirmed you did that. Order! Order! 
Mr. Edgeworth. Explain to the court what you mean by this. Distinguished members of the court, Mr. White is slightly confused. Allow me to explain. I really don't like the way this is headed. As you know, Mr. White is the CEO of Blue Corp. He ordered his secretary, Miss April May, to tap the law offices of May. Of Miss Fay. What does that have to do? Your Honor! The question is, when was the wiretap placed in the office and by who? No, you wouldn't. Mr. White, in order to place the wiretap, you entered Miss Fay's office. Am I correct? Correct! You are most correct, Miles. Give me a break! Just in order to place the wiretap, I breached the Fang Cole offices. That is when I saw the accursed light stand. Ah uh -huh. Now I'm confused. Please explain to the court what all this means, Mr. Edgeworth. Gladly, Your Honor. Mr. Phoenix Wright has made his position quite clear. He has determined that Mr. White knew the glass stand was in the office. He has shown that there was only one time Mr. White could have sent, seen this stand. At the very moment of the murder, thus Mr. White, Wright, would like you to believe that Mr. White was the murderer. I see. However, it is a fact that Mr. White had been to the office well before the murder took place. When he went to place the wiretap. He could have seen the glass light stand then. Ergo, Mr. Phoenix Wright's theory is re revealed for the baseless conjecture it is. Ah, uh, no. Mr. White, you will testify to the court about the wiretapping. This is going to be easy. It was the beginning of September. It was the beginning of September. The week before the murder. I, okay. I had entered the Fay and Co. law offices. I already find this ridiculous. Of course, I had done so to place the wiretap. That is when I saw this glass light stand. So, you saw the stand before the night of the incident, and this is how you were able to identify what had fallen over. <sighs> oh, on me. By the sound. It's like the fourth time I've yawned today. It's ridiculous. Once per each video I've recorded so far. Correct. That is correct. I see. Very well, Mr. Wright. You may cross-examine. Hi, Phoenix. Okay, for those who haven't played the game, technically, it's this, it's going to be this at least. I'll let it, I'll let it stab me just cause, but I'm going to assume I know what the game wants. But no, yeah, it's going to be that, that paper. Damn it, there's nothing there for me to press him on. Oh well. Maybe he's rattled enough that I can bluff something out of him. Do you have proof? Miss April May knew the details of Miss Faye's phone conversation. This proves that the wiretap was placed before the murder. Huh, right. Was it really you that went into the office? Or was it Miss May? Oh, for the love! Unidentified fingerprints several days old were found in the Fay and Co. law offices. Those were obviously Mr. White's. And if I know Edgeworth, he's already run a check on those prints. Now, Mr. White, tell us why you went to the Fay. Okay. Seriously? 
It says no bearing on the current case, Your Honor. Blue Corp is a detective. Blue Corp is a detective agency of sorts. We have a responsibility to protect client confidentiality. Why did you notice something as in, in, innocuous as a light stand? Light stand was made entirely out of glass. It was quite stylish, so I guess it made a lasting impression on me. Such a beautatious thing deserves attention, does it not? That is all. Damn it, there's nothing there for me to press down on. Well, maybe he's rattled enough that I can bluff something out of him. Just, I feel like. What am I really wanting to do? Yeah, that one. Yes, over right. Tell me I've run out of ammo. Oh! I'm afraid that's as far as you go, Mr. Wright. The time has come for you to admit your defeat. You fought honorably. No more. I can't take this anymore. Mr. Wright. Are you giving up? Yes, Your Honor. Phoenix! Phoenix, over here. I know that voice. M Mia? Never give up, Phoenix. Hi. M M Mia. And I passed out. Where, where am I? In the lobby, apparently. Waiting lobby? What happened? Oh, right. I lost the trial. I was hallucinating. Hi! <laughs> ah, you're finally awake! Gah! Really? Hey, Phoenix! Gah! That's no way to greet an old friend. Phoenix, I want you to look at me. Hello. You're... Maya? Didn't you know the Fae women have strong psychic powers? When you accepted your defeat in court, it appears that was enough of a shock to awaken Maya's true powers. So... Maya's channeling you, Mia? That's right. I am Maya, but I am also Mia. Now, I want you to listen to me, Phoenix. Maya never gave up. You can't either. That's what I came here to tell you. But, but... You don't have much time, Phoenix. Now listen. You've already won. Huh? You have the receipt from the court record, right? Um... Oh, yeah. The one you wrote Maya on? Phoenix, White wrote that, not me. So... What do I do with it? Look at the front of the receipt. The front? It's a regular receipt. Looks like it's from a famous department store. A thousand dollars. Wow, big spender. Item. Glass light stand. Date of purchase? September 4th. September 4th. 
That's right, Phoenix. I bought that stand the day before I was killed. That's what I was thinking of earlier, right there. That's what I remembered. Guess I couldn't really have done it yet since she hadn't told him this yet. He wasn't smart enough to look at the other side of that freaking receipt! Now, what did Mr. White say his in his testimony? It was the beginning of September, the week before the murder. Obviously, that's not true. Unless the murder happened on a Saturday, a Sunday, and the and she bought it on a Saturday. That ain't true. He said he saw the stand the week before the murder. There you go. I think the court is about to reconvene. Go do it, Phoenix. You know you're innocent. Now you just have to prove it. Right. Receipt updated in the court record. Hmm. Court will now reconvene for the trial of Mr. Phoenix Wright. Is the defendant rather... Are you alright, Mr. Wright? Yeah, sorry, Your Honor. I'm fine now. Then let's start where we left off. Your Honor, there is nothing to go back to. The cross-examination of Mr. White is finished. All that is required now is for you to pass judgment on the defendant, Phoenix Wright. Hmm. Your Honor, please, give me one more chance. I promise you, this is the last time I'll ask you. Hmm. But, as Mr. Edgeworth has noted, the trial is more or less finished. Mr. Edgeworth, do you have an opinion on this matter? I say, let us give Mr. Phoenix Wright his last chance. Very well. You may begin your cross-examination. Alright, here we go. Now I can finally do what I was trying to do in the first place! Also, I love how they put that. That's the first statement. Makes it so easy. Objection. We're done. <laughs> you are sorry. You're done. Look closely at this. See the word Maya written in blood? Whoa! You're grasping. Uh, no. I think not. Look at the other side of the receipt. The other side? Your Honor, can you tell the court what is written on the other side of that receipt? Hmm. Well, a glass light stand, and the date of purchase. Why, that's the day before the murder. You see, Mr. White, when you allegedly entered Faye and Co. law offices at the beginning of September, the stand could not have been there. Oh, Lord. Oh, that face. Well, Mr. White, can't get out of this one, can you? No, it's impossible. Uh-oh, he's losing it. Well, Your Honor, I understand there must be quite a bit of pressure on you. But I think you'll agree you can't judge me guilty under these circumstances. Very well. Then, that is all for the trial of... Objection! What? What do you want? Not so fast, Phoenix Wright. What? What could you possibly have that I can contradict this time? Now this one I actually don't remember. The receipt was just easy to remember for me. I don't know why. Eh? What? No way he can worm his way out of this one. Oh, wait. I forgot. It's Edgeworth. There's a certain threat of logic in the defendant's claims. However, there is no concrete proof that Phoenix Wright is innocent. What? There we go. I would like to request one more day before Phoenix Wright is granted his freedom. Any time to make one more inquiry into this matter. Another inquiry? 
This isn't going to be another one of those updated autopsy reports. This guy just makes up evidence as he pleases. This is bad. Object! Mr. White's guilt is obvious. There is no need to prolong this trial any further. Well, Mr. Edgeworth. If anyone is going to call Mr. White to trial, it would be me, the prosecution. I need a day to ascertain whether those new claims have any basis in factual evidence. I see. Objection denied. What? Completion of the trial of Mr. Phoenix Wright will be postponed until tomorrow. There's no telling what will happen if I can't end this now. As with the sure to come up with or just make up something. And after Mia showed up to help me out and all. Mr. Your Honor, may I go home? Of course. Thank you for your time. Gah. The witness will stay. M Mia. Phoenix, read this note out loud. Mia, what's this? Okay. Your Honor, if I may. You're quite persistent today, Mr. Ray. You bet I am. My life is riding on this one. I have something I would like to read to the court. I should have read it. <laughs> the memo Mia had given me was a list of names. Many of them sounded strangely familiar. People in finance, famous celebrities. That's when it happened. S stop! Desist! Halt! Please, stop! Make him stop! How? How did you get that list? Mr. White, admit your guilt right here, right now, or else this list will be released to the press. Alright, that's it. We're done. <laughs> I, I confess. I confess. I, I did it. I hit her. I hit Miss Mia with... The thinker. Case closed, Your Honor. I'm gonna guess that even this, ver even the Mia version of Maya still has Maya's voice. Um, th th that's what I'm gonna guess. It's the only thing that really makes sense to me why they don't recognize her as Mia. Otherwise, they'd probably be frightened to death. Well, I see no reason to continue this trial. Either that, or they're just really stupid. Mr. Wright? Yes, Your Honor? You've done it again. That was quite a spirited defense. Yes, Your Honor. I, I guess you could say that. If only you knew how spirited it actually was. Hmm. Well, this court finds the defense. Ahem. <clears throat> Rather, the defendant, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Not guilty. Better luck next time. <laughs> Edgeworth. That is all. The court is adjourned. Well, I never thought I'd be saying this again. But congratulations. You're lucky I was born a fae. I'm lucky I had both you and Maya on my side. I'm glad you made it. Thank you, Phoenix. You wished a lot to help me, and Maya. I won't forget it as long as I live. As long as you live? You know what she means, Phoenix. My time here is running out. Huh? Maya's powers are still weak. I can't stay here that long. What? No! There's still so much to say. Don't worry. I'm sure we'll meet again. Ch chief <laughs> I'm not the chief anymore. Phoenix? Can you come to the office tonight? Say, 9 o'clock? Kind of an ironic time. The office? I'll see you later. Chief. Yeah. Well, you're late. <laughs> Being here.
It's hard not to think about that night. Okay. Mia? Yeah, that proves it. If he hears Maya's voice and he thinks it's Mia, it's obviously Maya's voice. While she's... Even while she's Mia. Although, I'm not gonna do that anyway, just that way. It's still a differential between the two. I was kind of worried you might not. Huh? Of course I came. Well then, I'm pretty hungry. How about a burger? M Mia? <laughs> you should see your face. Mia. Nope, Maya. <laughs> what are you talking about? It's me, Maya. M Maya. What, did I look like my sister? I think you already know the answer to that. Look like you were her. Hmm. Might be able to use that. Oh, Phoenix, go to the store and buy me lunch, would you? Uh, Maya, why are you here? Because of this. See? Mia wrote me a letter. Take care of Phoenix for me. Take care of... huh? She means the office. This office. The office has a name. And of course it's Phoenix. Oh, wait. Duh. <sighs> Shut up. <laughs> I know, I know. Right in Cola offices. Phoenix Right in Cola. I get it. I'm an idiot, okay? <laughs> you better put me. My FA reporting for duty. Wait, no. On second thought, let's make this casual. Yo, Nick! Maya here ready to get down to business. What? You don't mind me calling you Nick, do you? It's a great day. Mia said that's what your friend Larry calls you. Nick. No. What this? You know what this means. We're partners. I'm pretty sure I've said this at some point before. I think I was saying it on my own time while playing on my uh, like my own personal file for this. But I'm pretty sure I've said on multiple occasions, actually, that I really hope at some point uh, to take into consideration I've only played the first two games uh, developed in this series, in this franchise. But I, with that known, my mind just goes, I hope that uh, Phoenix and Maya end up being a thing rather than just... Uh, so, uh, business partners, but a legit, like, relationship partners. I know. They're, like, six years apart, but I've been in a relationship with people. Who, I, I know people who are even further apart than that who are married, so I don't care. <laughs> you know, when I think about it, it is Maya's fault I'm here now. But if it wasn't for her... Probably be in jail. Right in co law offices. It's got a good ring to it. Yeah. Thanks, Maya. Ah ha ha ha. Good luck, Phoenix. I'll always be here. Watching. Always watching. <laughs> right. Right. Okay, Nick. Let's do it. Huh? Do what? Burgers, dummy! Burgers! <laughs> okay. There's a great burger joint just down the street. Come on. Time's a wasting. Uh, okay. Wait up. Well, the end of that one. Okay. So I actually am going to leave this video here. Uh, we'll start up episode three next time. Yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, push that like button in so far you can't see it anymore. If you really liked it, consider subscribing to the channel. Got any suggestions for me for any other games I could play? Just let me know in the comments below. Or if you want to check out any footage I've done in the past or I'm currently working on now, click the box down over there. Or if you missed anything in this playlist or you just want to check out the rest of the playlist anyway, uh, click the box that's across from my head over here. In the meantime... I'm out, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!